What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of NX Tutorials. In today's episode, I'll show you how to create the spinner, the fidget spinner. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing is, go ahead and create a new file. Come up here, click new. Specify your units, we'll be using the millimeters. Name your part. And then choose your file destination, go ahead and click OK. Alright, so the first thing is go ahead and uh, turn off the auto constraints. You want to come up under File, Preferences, and go ahead and click on Sketch. You want to turn off the constraints and the auto dimensioning. Go ahead and click OK. Alright, once we have that, go ahead and create a sketch. Click on Sketch. Choose your plane. I'll go ahead and uh, leave it at the default, the XY plane. Click OK. Alright. First thing, we'll create a circle. So click on Circle. And then we'll go ahead and dimension it. We want this circle to be uh, 22 millimeters. So type in 22. And then we want it in reference to the XY plane. So we're still in the rapid dimension. We'll put it at 100 away from the Y. And then we can keep it 0 at the X. So just type in 0. And now your sketch is fully constrained. So let's go ahead and uh, create the second circle. Alright, so we want this one and this circle to be equal radius. And then we want it in line. Vertically alignment. And then the dimension will be uh, 38 millimeters away. So select your points. We want it 38. So type in 38. Alright. Alright, now we're going to work on the outline. So create a bigger circle that's going to go on top of this one. So we want it coincident to this one. And the radius of this, it's going to be 31 millimeters. Alright. Now we'll go ahead and create the same thing uh, down here. One from the left and one to the right. So go ahead and create circles. The first circle is going to be equal radius to this one. And then we'll go ahead and dimension it. That's going to be the uh, same distance as the top one, so 38. Alright, and we'll give it a second dimension. This one's going to be uh, 32.4. Go ahead and create the outer circle. We want a coincidence to this circle and then the same equal radius to this one. So make them both equal radius. Alright. Now let's work on the third circle. We want an equal radius to this one. We'll go ahead and give the same dimensions as the others. So we want a 38 in diagonal. And then that should be 32.4 to be equal length. Alright, once we have that, go ahead and close out. Alright, so we'll take this circle here. 
we'll create our last circle we want an equal radius to the big one over here and then we want an align coincident with the center point of this circle and now it's constrained alright next we'll go ahead and create a radius to connect these circles so go ahead and click on the arc and then we want the radius of this arc to be uh, 39 so type in 39 alright and then we want this arc with this circle to be tangent and then connect your uh, endpoint make a point on curve and same thing over here, go ahead and highlight it, make it tangent, and then connect your endpoint. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do the same arc, the same radius, twice. One down here, and one up here. So click on arc. We want this arc to be equal radius with this one. And then we want it to be tangent to these circles. So we'll click on tangent and connect your endpoint. Same process. Make it tangent first and then connect your endpoint. Alright, so now we got one more left. Go ahead and click arc. We want this one to be equal as this one, so make it equal radius. And then you want to make it tangent and then connect your endpoint. Same thing goes on this side, make it tangent. Go ahead and click and uh, point on curve. Alright, so now your sketch is fully constrained, but lastly we'll go ahead and uh, take out these lines. So you want to trim. We'll take out this one, take out this one, and lastly this one here. Alright, once you do that, it says here your sketch needs uh, six constraints. So the, we got to reconnect these points here. So we'll go ahead and select your endpoints. And the connect and make them coincident. All right, we got two more. constrained all right so now our sketch is fully constrained once we have that now we have our shape of the spinner go ahead and finish all right so now the next thing is go ahead and extrude this uh, sketch so come up here click extrude So it's automatically going to select your curves, the 10 curves we just created. And then we want it to extrude it 10 millimeters, so type in 10. That way we've given it a thickness, so it's 10 millimeter in thick. And go ahead and click OK. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and uh, do the edge blend. So click edge blend. It's tangent curves. So you want it to be a uh, five millimeters edge blend. Select your curves. 
So we got the top. And now we'll go ahead and select the bottom. Click OK. Alright, so now we have our spinner. Next we'll go ahead and work on the button for the ball bearing in the center. So the first thing is we'll go ahead and create a, a, a datum plane two millimeters above this face. So go ahead and click datum plane. You want to select this face. And then we want it two millimeters going high, offset. Go ahead and click OK. All right, now we have our uh, datum plane. We'll go ahead and uh, create another sketch off of this plane. So uh, click sketch. We want to select this plane, datum plane. Go ahead and click OK. All right, so we'll make our uh, first circle, which is uh, 25 millimeters. So click on circle. Go ahead and create it here. We want to dimension it, tell it to be 25. Just type in 25 millimeters, close, and then we want the center point to this center point to be coincident. All right, so now we have our first circle. Go ahead and finish, and then we'll extrude it. We want a two millimeters extrude. And then go ahead and click OK. Once we have that, go ahead and uh, edge blend the edges to give it a nice uh, shape. So we want the radius to be one millimeter. So select this edge in the bottom of it. Click OK. Alright, so now we have our button. Next we'll have to create a stem going through the button so we can go on the other side. So we want to flip it and then go ahead and create another sketch. You want to select the face of the button that we just created. Click OK. Next we'll make a 5 millimeter circle, go ahead and dimension it, we want it to be 5 millimeters, so type in 5, press enter, select the center point, and the center point of that circle, make them coincident. Alright, once your sketch is fully constrained, go ahead and finish. Now extrude the circle. We want to extrude it to be 14 millimeters. All right, once you have that, go ahead and click OK. All right, next we'll create the same button on the other side. So go ahead and sketch. Now we want to uh, select this plane, click OK, and then that's going to be the same circle as the top one, which is 25 millimeters. So type in 25 millimeters, close out, now select the center point and make them coincident. Alright, so now we have our sketch, it's fully constrained, go ahead and finish. Now it's going to be the same process, extrude it first, so click on extrude, it's going to select it. And then it's going to be the same thickness as the top one, which is uh, 2 millimeters. You want to make sure it's going outwards, click OK. And then we wanted the same edge blend as the top one, so we wanted 2 millimeters. Or actually, yeah, one millimeter. Click OK. All right, next you want to unite these two buttons we've created. So click on Unite. 
you want to unite this one to the stem and to this click OK so now that you're united alright one more thing is uh, we'll go ahead and hide the sketch lines so in order to do that go ahead and click on view move to layers we want to select this object and the button and then inverse selection that way it's going to select everything else so we got 19 objects, click OK, move it to a different layer. We'll go ahead and move it to layer 5, click OK. And then under layer settings, click on that, uncheck number 5, so that way everything hides, close out. So now we have a clear view of our sketch, of our uh, part. Alright, one more thing. We can actually hide the edge lines here. So under style. Right now it says shaded with edges. We want to just shade it without the edges. So click on shaded only. This is our part here. All right. If you want, if you'd like to change the color, you can uh, press and hold Control J. Select the object. Click OK. Click on the color box and then choose your uh, preference color click OK and then we can change the color of the button as well so same thing control J select this object click OK alright now we have our part Alright guys, there it is. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time.